Hi, Brian Secker here, certified personal trainer and baby boomer fitness expert. And today I want to ad address and answer a question that I've been getting on my Facebook page, which is um, you know, the one that I get on a daily basis in my email box, but also I get through my cell phone, text message, or just on my Facebook fan page. And I covered this blog post in the past of where a baby boomer should start when stepping into a gym for the first time or working out for the first time. But today, I want to answer a more specific question because somebody asked me how to lose weight and I recommended that they do three to four days of weight training and that they also do their cardiovascular training five to six days per week, 20 to 30 minutes, and that they should do their mobility work 10 minutes. And the response I usually get is, well that's great, what does that really mean and what does that look like? So what I want to specifically do is help you get the confidence that you need to know with a starting program that you could get in the gym and start implementing right now so you know what that means. So you've got the outline now and now I want to give you the specifics. So whenever you start your resistance training program, you want to start out with your mobility. And I'm going to give you a couple mobility exercises that you can do on a daily basis and then that way you'll know all, all the different mobility exercises and then you can start using those on a day-to-day -day basis. Does that make sense? So you'll get all these mobility exercises and you'll be able to use them. So great. So I'm going to give you some mobility exercises, I'm going to give you some resistance training exercises that you can do. So the first mobility exercise that we're going to do is our cat dog. And it's going to help you with your core. Warp your core and your back. So your knees are underneath your hips, your hands are underneath your shoulders. You're going to rotate your chest nice and tall. And you drop your head down, press back into the floor, and back through. And you don't really want to force these stretches, you want to just go through a natural range of motion. So you go through um, 10 to 12 repetitions, and then move into the next one. So the next one we do is a wave stretch. We're going to use our foam roller here to help us keep a nice um, neutral hip, a neutral spine I mean. We're going to have our arms straight, hand over the top, we're going to reach across and then back. Warming up our chest. And then back. 10 to 12 reps on each side. And the next one where generally most people I work with, their hip flexors are pretty tight. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a staggered stance. You're gonna rotate your hip forward, squeeze your glute, pull your belly button in, reach up and across. You're gonna hold this for 20 to 30 seconds. And then we're gonna switch over and hit the other side. So now that you've mobilized, you spent 10 minutes that day mobilizing, and you can do this in the morning, afternoon, and night, or before your workout, you'll move into your next thing, which is your resistance training, which you'll be completing three to four times a week. So the first exercise that we're gonna do is our squat, work on our quads and our glutes. Your feet are set um, shoulder width apart, and for every single exercise that we're gonna do in this routine, there's gonna be 12 to 15 repetitions, and you can only take the necessary rest going from one exercise to the next. If you're a beginner, I only want you to do one round the first week so that we have plenty of time to recover between workouts. If you're more intermediate, uh, moving into your second and third week of this, I want you to try two rounds to help with recovery and be able to complete the workouts. And then in your fourth to sixth week, you can do this three times. So, start with our squat. We're gonna go feet shoulders apart, start from the quads, press to the floor and back up. Deep breath in, chest remain nice and tall, and back up. 12 to 15 reps. We're then going to move into our next exercise, the dumbbell bench press. This exercise is going to be focused on our chest, shoulders, and triceps. We're going to grab a hold of our dumbbells. You're going to come and sit down at the end of your bench. Lie back. Palms facing away from you. You're going to press up. Deep breath in. And remember, always focus on form first and good tempo. So we don't want to just throw the weights all over the place. We want nice control on the way down and usually one to two seconds on the way up underneath control. After you finish that, oh, we're going to set these down. We're going to then work our back and our biceps. So we've got a cable row. If you're at home, you can usually use a band to put inside the, the doorway and you can pull on it. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to grab a hold of your cable, staggered stance, 12 to 12 to 20 repetitions, and you're gonna pull through your elbow, deep breath in, and exhale. Pull through your elbow, bring that shoulder blade back, and that's finished. Next exercise we're gonna focus on is our hamstring. It's our single leg RDL, how this is gonna work. 
Find a point out in your peripheral. You're gonna go on one leg, put a slight bend in your leg, then you're gonna reach out for your, like you're gonna pick something up off the floor, and you're gonna pull that through. Deep breath in, and exhale, 12 to 15 reps. If you have a hard time balancing, this is a great exercise that helps with balance. Um, you can use support, you can use a wall, you can use a pole, something to help give you support for your single leg um, dumbbell row. Um, next one we're gonna move into, barbell cur curls, strengthen our bicep. Um, we're gonna pick the bar up, just drop our hips down here, we're gonna pick our bar up, hands right outside shoulder width, elbows tucked in, breathing out, <sighs> deep breath in, and exhale. This is a great exercise for my baby boomer women because they ask me, you know, what's an exercise that I can do to help me start toning my arms? Barbell curl is a great one there, 12 to 15 reps. Then we're gonna tone up the back of the arms. Another great exercise to help with the arms is our lying uh, dumbbell tricep extensions. So we we'll grab a hold of our dumbbells here, we're gonna lie back. We're gonna bend from our elbows and back up. Deep breath in. And it's okay if your elbows flare out a little bit. I tend to get that question from time to time because you're focused on that muscle group being used. Back down, back up. Now we're gonna go into some core. Um, we're gonna go into some supermans. So uh, superman, you're gonna lie on your stomach. You're gonna bring your feet together, hands out in front of you, pull yourself up off the floor, hold for a count of one, and back down, and repeat. After you finish those, your supermans, we're gonna flip over to your back, we're gonna do our V-up. Now there's two ways to do your V-up. There's a partial V-up where your knees are bent, having your arms straight behind you, you're gonna reach up, squeeze your core and back. One thing I do not wanna see you do is just jumping up off the floor and trying to force it. A nice control movement, coming up on a count. A steady count, squeeze and back. The other way you can do it, having your legs straight, feet together, coming up, squeeze and back. Hook, squeeze, and back. So there you have it. You have your mobility exercises for that day. You also have your strength training exercise today. If you like this video, click the like button below. Also, if you want the very specific program written out for you, what I'll do is have the other link below here where you can go to the blog about this topic and it's gonna give you very specifics on how to use it. Um, you know, if you have any questions, I answer those questions personally. Just leave your questions below here on my Facebook page or on the blog. So again, make it a great day and remember, you only have your health once.